Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to explore 10 famous hauntings in Illinois. I hope you enjoy. The sculpture of Inez Clark is one of the most famous ghost stories surrounding Graceland Cemetery. Inez Clark died when she was six in the 1880s. Reports include sightings of it moving on its own, the sounds of weeping near it, and night guards have claimed that walking by it, it would be missing, only for it to turn up the next morning, whilst others have seen a little girl playing in the cemetery. The weirdest part is that young Inez isn't even buried in Graceland Cemetery. Decatur has one of the most haunted places in Lincoln Theater. In the 1920s, it was home to vaudeville and silent movies, although now it is home to several ghosts. One is a prankster that is known to mess with the projection booth, and some people even reported seeing a child running up and down the stairs. Another is supposedly a stagehand that fell to his death from the catwalk. The Tinker Swiss Cottage, once used to house terminally ill children, and is now reportedly haunted. People have said that they could hear humming, whistling, and children's voices. The Tinker family is also believed to be haunting this place. If you want to visit here, they do three-hour tours. Sci-Fi's ghost hunters have even paid this place a visit. The Woodstock Opera House is home to a ghost of a woman named Elvira. She was an actress who unalived herself by jumping from the tower after she didn't get the lead part. She now has her own seat in one of the balconies. People claim to have seen her seat fold down during performance. She's also known to move scenery and props around. Beware the seat 113. In the quaint town of Oakwaville is the only operating mineral springs in the state. It is also home to some paranormal activity. One of the rooms and hallway is haunted by a woman in white. Many staff won't even go into the older wing during the evening. Noises of footsteps have been said to be heard coming from locked rooms. One person claimed to have heard whispers from the room, the very same room that the owner had died in during the 60s. Woodlawn Cemetery is home to the site of a 1918 circus train wreck. The mass grave here is filled with 60 to 110 circus performers from the train. There are no names on the markers, but some endearing pet names instead, dubbed Showman's Rest. Nowadays, the section is home to over 750 magicians, circus performers, and stunt pilots alike. If you ever visit, you may just hear the cries of elephants across the night sky. Bachelor's Grove is an abandoned cemetery that is considered to be one of the most haunted places in the Chicagoland area. Many sightings have appeared since the 50s, with floating orbs along the grounds and a female apparition that can be seen sobbing and asking people about her baby. The creepiest one is a spirit named Farmer. Take a drowning of a local farmer and mix it with a bunch of bodies dumped by the mob and you have a hunchback figure seen slinking of the pond. Police sightings in the farmers started in the 70s. The book Devil in the White City recounts the histories of the murders that took place during the World's Fair in 1893. H. H. Holmes is also believed to have killed hundreds in his lifetime. While his murder castle no longer exists, now being a post office, screams can still be heard and pets get visibly scared when walking in the area. Workers have reported several unexplainable and creepy sightings in the basement of the building. Resurrection Mary is one of the most popular hauntings in Illinois. She was killed in a hit and run on Archer Avenue in the 30s. She was dancing at the Willowbrook Ballroom with her boyfriend and then they got into an argument. She left and tried to find a ride home. She's buried in Resurrection Cemetery. Her sightings by people are reports of a woman in a white dress and dancing shoes. She 
she also commonly hitches rides with cab drivers. American Airlines Flight 191 left Chicago, bound for Los Angeles in 1979. Shortly after, it crashed into an abandoned hangar, taking the lives of all 258 people on board. Today, screams and moans can be heard from the crash site. People in a nearby mobile home say that they heard knocking on the door and windows after the crash. But after checking, nobody was there. This happened for months, and the doorknobs would start turning on their own. Occasionally, there was people standing on the other side of the door, begging for help finding their luggage. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button and give me a subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until next time.